I tell you, I was very excited too when it actually worked. <laughs> you know, when I actually <laughs> put the tubes in and watched the honey come out, I was sitting there going, <laughs> what? <laughs> I've cracked the flow hive. It went really well. I was completely amazed and surprised at the amount of honey that came out. Um, it was easy to use and there was very little disturbance to the whole hive. I was skeptical at first. I thought it might set off a frenzy of bees coming to the back of the hive and trying to rob all this honey, but it didn't. There was, there was no interest from the bees at the front of the hive at all. They just left me alone and I'm sitting at the back with my two litre jar and the honey is just pouring out. It was magnificent. Here we're using a flow hive and uh, I've seen the results of how this flow hive works. It's a really interesting design, very easy way of actually getting honey out, less mess. It's a great idea, you can bottle it straight in. It's just streamlining the whole process and making it so much of a simpler process to, for people to be able to harvest their honey and not need an extractor and all the extra equipment that goes with that. And, and so the, like the monetary and time commitment that comes with traditional beekeeping is just going to be completely changed. If you're not getting grumpy bees because you're obviously stealing their honey, then yeah, then the kids can really get involved in in getting down there and checking it out and turning the tap and being part of harvesting the honey they like to eat. I've spent hours taking honey out of hives and this system is just blows my mind. It is just astounding. You can see where it's emptying from out of the hive. It's just like the frame itself, but the honey is just absolutely kind of draining down on this slightly beveled areas and draining out of the top ones and you virtually see the honey running down to the bottom of the hive and out of this pipe. It's the most extraordinary, wonderful uh, invention. As I said, kind of grand designs in a, in a box with this just golden honey pouring out. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Very exciting to be here and be a part of that. Very exciting for the kids here to be and to see this oh, actually honey. happening. And the bees are not particularly worried. They obviously know something's going on because these end combs have, have drained out. It's this oversimplistic idea of how a hive could work and yet you're, you've actually accomplished that. That's, that's amazing. Um, yeah, it's just mind-boggling, really, the concept is. You know, nothing ever works out the same in reality because you don't foresee the problems, but frankly, you, you know, I've, I've seen your videos and I've seen this, and I really can't perceive a lot of problems. I, it looks like you've got it pretty well worked out. You just save a $1,000 buying an extractor and a bunch of equipment that you don't need anymore because you can just go out and drain it out of the hive. That's, that's mind-boggling. Beekeepers come up with all sorts of little gadgets and most of them are interesting. Maybe they're a little helpful. For the most part, I find I've tried almost all of them and most of them are just like, eh, you know, that's a nice idea, but it doesn't really change what you're doing. It doesn't change beekeeping. It doesn't change... It's not revolutionary. This is revolutionary. And they're still working. That's the really cool thing is they're t they seem totally undisrupted. And they're entering and exiting at the front of the hive. I really can't imagine how this won't revolutionize backyard beekeeping and beyond probably. Yeah. It just makes it so accessible for anyone to, to be able to have a hive and reap all the many, many joys of having so much honey.